Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm just making my way out to the beach here, up in the north end of Area 2. It's raining on and off throughout the night. We had a pretty good rainstorm roll through here earlier this morning. It's just starting to let up. Still drizzling. Sounds like it's really rough out there. I can hear the waves breaking on the beach back here. It's one of the bathhouses, by the way. You hear me talk about the facilities here at the park. Here's one of the bathhouses, bathhouse number two. They all have outdoor showers. Yeah, it's still raining here. I just stepped out from the cover of the trees. Should be letting up though soon. Lots of waves out there. Wow, is it rough. We aren't gonna see any dolphins swimming by this morning. <laughs> That's for darn sure. Wow. It's probably gonna, probably gonna be some really, really good shelling out here. Still drizzling. Uh, this is not good though. The wind is coming in from the, feels like the northwest. Hopefully it won't bring the red tide back on us here. Darn it. Amazing. A little snowy egret, even with all these waves, a little snowy egret out here. Looking for something to eat. Oh, it's really cooling off out here, too. Forgot to check the temperature. I'm thinking the shelling is going to be really, really good here after these waves. We're at high tide right now. The official high tide was oh, about a half hour ago. saw that on the beach I got all excited thought I had found a nice big whelk shell darn it <laughs> just a piece of one I think there's gonna be some good shelling out here in the next couple days let's just hope we don't see that red tide return darn it Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Hit that share button. Remember, nobody pays me to come out here and do these beach walks. Especially on days like today. Not too many people out here in the rain. That's what it's all about. I like just keeping you updated. I've shown you the good side and the bad side of the beach here. Boy, the temperature is really, really dropping. There are lots and lots of conch shells on the beach this morning. Lots of fighting conch shells. Look at this one. Look at the colors in that fighting conch. Nice looking fighting conch shell there. A 
tide came up pretty high last night, or actually this morning. Like I said, about a half hour ago was high tide. And last night, came all the way up into here. Look at that, way up into here. See if I can find a shell here. Put the hole in it. I don't see any right here. I'll find one. So somebody started a shell tree down here at the south end. This is area three. Let's see if I can find a shell to add to it. But look at Look at that water this morning. Oh boy. Over here, looks like we had a little more erosion overnight. Looks like we lost a little more beach overnight. This is area three. I'm in area three right now. Not seeing a lot of activity out here. Not many birds. There's some rain down to the south. It's kind of it's moving this direction, coming from here to here, which would be moving to the northeast. I think that heavy rain down there is going to miss us. I think our rain is going to be winding down here then the temperatures are going to drop finally it's going to cool off out here look at how smooth the beach is here look how flat it is that water came up last night and just swept the beach clean look at that Wow. See our friend Ron just joined us. Good morning, Ron. Every once in a while, I get to see the screen here. When it's overcast like this, when that sun's out shining bright, I can never see the screen. There's always reflections on it. There's a little snowy egret. Can you see it sitting up here on the beach? It's not very close to the water. You're not going to get any fish back there, buddy. Wow. Not seeing much of anything on the beach here. I thought there was going to be a lot of shells there. Maybe as the tide starts going out here it's just started going out but it's not going to be a very low tide like we've been seeing for the past week just because of the way the winds blowing the winds coming from the northwest Keeping our fingers crossed that it does not bring the red tide back to our beach. We 
where's all that blue sky we've gotten so accustomed to seeing in the mornings here boy yesterday it really really cleared up nice after that fog lifted There's a nice little cockle shell down here. Nice little cockle. There's a bigger one. A bigger cockle shell up here. Another nice cockle shell. You gotta have a couple cockle shells in your shell collection. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be this cool out. I don't know what the actual temperature here is right now in North Naples, but it's definitely dropping. Another cockle. Temperature is definitely dropping. Still drizzling on me here. It's still raining. I have been. There definitely are a lot of fighting conch shells on the beach this morning. Anybody that wants to collect some fighting conks this morning, it's probably going to be a good morning to come out and find some. Oh, here's almost, almost a whole whelp shell here. Almost a whole lightning whelp. It has a little a couple chips in it. Almost. I'm going to leave that one here, though, for somebody else. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm not the only person walking the beach. There's other people here. When you get the beach in your blood, a little rain's not going to keep you away. Holy smokes. Just piles of conch shells down here this morning. Very cool. Oh, here's a nice pear whelk. Ooh, a beauty. There is a really nice pear whelk. It's a nice size one there. What else is out here this morning? Looking for some moon shells. There's some moon shells. Some shark eyes. Some murex shells. Where are they at? Yep. Keep my eyes peeled the best I can as I walk along here. Also seeing lots and lots of uh, cockle shells out here this morning. Lots of cockles.
definitely kicking in. The breeze is definitely kicking in here. That rain is cold. <laughs> that rain is cold. Hitting me in the back right now. Nice little waves breaking out there this morning. We've seen a few snowy egrets flying by. That's about all we've seen as far as wildlife this morning. A few little snowy egrets out here. I'm going to walk up to our sandbar up there in area four. See if the turns are up there, the turns and the skimmers and the seagulls. I'd sure like to find a shark's tooth on the beach this morning. With all this wave action, I would think it's got things churned up pretty good and maybe uncovered some shark's teeth there. Just one is all I'd like to find, just one. I'll probably walk like dozens of them already this morning. All I'm asking for is one shark's tooth. <laughs> There's so many little black rocks on the beach this morning. Pieces of little broken black shells, the little black heart stones that look like shark's teeth. It's really hard to see them down there. You really got to have a good eye and know what you're looking for. I just have an idea of what I'm looking for. What's out here? Anything on the sandbars? Anything out here is the tides rolling back here. Right where I'm standing, in a couple hours, this will be all dry land. Yeah, I hope that heavier rain stays down there to the south see it down there. You can see the condos down at Vanderbilt Beach, but you can't see Park Shore. Just 
it's a light rain right now. Coming out in weather like this, that's why I get the big bucks. I've been out here in tropical storms and right on the edge of hurricanes. And had some interesting moments out here at the beach. Together with our friend Roy, Roy and I, <laughs> we've shared some incredible moments out here at this beach. Hmm, not many people here at the beach this morning, I wonder why. <laughs> Nobody out here working on their tan. Hey, is that an alphabet cone down there? Sure is. It's a little faded out, but there's an alphabet cone. Just sitting on top of a pile of shells here. An alphabet cone. A uh, piece of a nautica shell, all busted up. That's a one. Nice little pile of shells here. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out a little further. Do a little more investigating here. It's not necessarily that these are new shells on the beach here but the waves come up and kind of shift them around and just uncover different things like there's a little whelk piece of a little whelk not quite a whole little lightning whelk looks like a little pear whelk over here buried in the sand yep it's got a chip in it a little pear whelk something where did I put that, where'd that lightning bolt go that I had in my hand, darn it. I just dropped it here. I was gonna show you the difference between the pear whelk and the lightning whelk. I wish they were a little closer, more similar in size, but you can see how they have the openings on the opposite sides. The lightning whelk on the left side, the pear whelk on the right side there. Very easy to see the difference. The pear whelk's a lot smoother than, more smooth than the lightning whelk. The pear whelk on the right. Any keepers over here? There's actually a pretty good sized pile of shells here. This is up in area four. Good size pile. Lots, like I said earlier, lots of little fighting conks on the beach. Here's a really nice little one. Two different size fighting conks right there. I think I see a murex over here. Boy, am I gonna get lucky and find a murex? Here's a turkey wing. One of our turkey wing shells. Turkey day is right around the corner next week. And there's a turkey wing shell. Oh, come on, keep my fingers crossed. Is this a nice Murex? Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful apple Murex shell right there. That is gorgeous. That is a really nice apple Murex, good size. like a keyhole. Boy, that was a great shell there. That was a great find. And I'm not looking really close here. I'm just kind of blowing through these. 
somebody comes out here and spends some time, I think you're gonna get rewarded very nicely today. I've seen lots of whelks, lots of broken whelks, but lots of whelks, pears and lightning whelks. Look at them all, pieces of them, but look at them all down here. Just amazing. Oh, where's those moon shells? An olive shell, a little olive shell. I gotta straighten out here. Straighten out the old back. <laughs> Maybe I'll look down the beach. It is raining. It is raining out here. drizzling not pouring raining a lot harder down to the south the winds coming in from the northwest it's definitely got the gulf stirred up out here not the best direction for the wind to be coming from as far as the red tide goes anytime that wind comes from from the gulf that's when we stand a chance of the red tide coming back wow looky here nice worm shell look at that worm shell beautiful worm shell there definitely a keeper definitely a keeper there oh my lord what do we got down here a shark eye, a nice moon shell. Nice little moon shell. Man, great, great morning here. I wasn't planning on doing any shelling, but what the heck. Piece of another moon shell. Slipper shells everywhere. Slipper shells all over the place this morning. As most of you know, the reason they're called slipper shells, flip them over, and they look like a little slipper. A little bedroom slipper. The slipper shells. I am glad I stopped to take the time to do a little shelling here this morning. It's definitely paid off. Lots of beautiful, lots of beautiful little scallops out here this morning as well. Looks like a piece of a crown conch over here. What's left of a crown conch. Yep, another little piece of a little shark eye. Boy, there are lots. I have seen a lot of broken shark eyes out here. Moon shells, nautica shells, lots and lots of them. I only found, put one whole one in my pocket so far. Again, I'm not spending a lot of time here looking. Starting to let up. The rain's starting to let up. A little bit of light now starting to break through the clouds out there. A whole, whole bunch of pelicans offshore out there. I can't zoom in. The screen's wet here, so I can't really zoom in. The camera just doesn't respond when the screen gets wet. I don't want to risk getting it locked up.
I think we should move further up the beach and see what we find. I am just very happy with the few little shells that I already put in my pocket this morning. Always to the dismay of my wife. She's sick and tired of me bringing shells home from the beach. I've got so many piles of shells at home. I don't know why. It's like an addiction. Nice little breeze. What'd you find? Oh, all the conch shells. Yeah, they're all over this morning. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. See, I said there's lots and lots of conch shells out here on the beach. They are everywhere. I mean, there's, I've seen hundreds of them already this morning. Hundreds. Here's that big broken whelk shell that I showed you a little earlier. I'm surprised nobody picked it up. <laughs> Somebody will take that home. It's got nice colors. It's got a big chip in the top of it. But somebody will take that home, I'm sure. Boy, some great shelling opportunities out here this morning. And what's interesting is their shells there are piles of shells that have been out here for weeks. And what has happened is the tide came up with these waves and just kind of shifted them all around and exposed new things. Boy, there's an, another apple murex. This one has a hole in it. Another big apple murex shell. Wow. found a nice one of these earlier. Part of an apple murex. Big olive shell. Part of a, another moon shell. I'm seeing lots of broken moon shells on the beach, lots of them. There's a really old, old crown conch here. It's lost all its color. That's a really old crown conch. Those are beautiful when you find them with their color. I'm seeing lots of pieces of coral on the beach too. Lots of different types of coral. There's a little piece down here. What else are we going to find here as we make our way up the beach? Well, we've seen a lot of interesting things this morning. Found a couple really nice shells. Still hoping that one of these days I'll find a shark's tooth out here.
one of these mornings. With some big waves up there. What an interesting Thursday morning. Overcast, cooling down, still a little, little drizzle in the air, just a slight drizzle. Starting to see a little blue sky out there now, just a little bit. wind coming from the northwest stirring up the gulf a little bit here praying it doesn't bring that red tide back upon us uh, we have had enough with that red tide Definitely a lot rougher than it's been in the past several days. Obviously the water isn't very clear with these waves. It's really got the bottom churned up. Oh, there's a nice sand dollar, a nice size sand dollar washed up here. That's a nice size little sand dollar. Neat pattern on the bottom there. Very neat. There's a good chance there's more of them out here. That's a nice size one. Sadly, it's dead. But that will make somebody a really, really nice souvenir, that sand dollar there. I'm gonna leave it up here on the beach for them. I just, they're so fragile, I can't put it in my pocket. I've got plenty of sand dollars. You can always get more. They're pretty abundant here, the sand dollars. That is so neat, the bottom of it. I'm just gonna leave it up on the beach for some other beach walker. As long as they get here before the next high tide, it'll it won't go anywhere. I don't know if you can see the pelicans out there flying by. There's quite a few pelicans, believe it or not, even with all these waves. They're just sitting out there bobbing up and down on the waves. And 
anything else interesting wash up on the beach. We found some crazy things washing up on the beach. One day I found this box on the beach. It washed up during one of our big storms. And I don't know, it looked like a toolbox, maybe a battery box. I don't know. It was all covered with barnacles and mud. But anyway, one of the FWC guys was coming by on his on his cart. And I said, let's open this thing up. He's like, okay. So he had some tools in his cart and we busted the thing open. I don't know, we must have had a thousand people watching live as we were trying to bust that thing open to see what was inside of it. When we got it open, there was nothing inside of it but mud. <laughs> mud and some tools. <laughs> but you never know what you're gonna find out here on this beach. The only thing I don't like finding is the dead marine life. Ugh. That was terrible, a red tide. There's so much death on the beach over the summer. Just the fish, the turtles, dolphins. It was terrible. And we're still, still, we're still dealing with it. Our coral reefs are a disaster. So sad. things with the red tide things can change in the blink of an eye and that's what people don't understand I mean the water can be absolutely beautiful and then in the blink of an eye boom the red tide is upon us really frustrating Some of our birds up here ahead of me. It's like a lot of seagulls. Mostly gulls. I think, eh, do I see any terns mixed in with them? Not really. Get a little closer here. sandpipers running around here in front of me the little birds scooting scurrying around there yeah, there's a few turns here a couple skimmers a little mix of everything turns skimmers gulls yeah the waves are coming up onto their turf here the tide's just starting to go out Right up, oh great, bad connection. We're right up in area four by Roy's Beach here, up by the pines, Roy's pine trees. <laughs> and these birds are trying to find a dry spot to land and every once in a while a big wave comes up. They gotta relocate. <laughs> Those were terns, the white birds that just flew in. Hey, some great, great shelling earlier this morning. Found some nice shells. Found some really nice little shells on the beach. Lots of conch shells out here this morning. Lots of fighting conch shells. Anybody that wants to take some fighting conchs home as souvenirs, hit the beach today. I've definitely seen lots of them at Wiggins. There's one right down there. There's a bunch of them. There's one there. They're scattered all along here. All along the beach here. Oh, wow. 
I'm gonna zoom in, I want you to see something. With these waves breaking, look at, look at the mist from the waves breaking on the beach. How cool is that? Look at that mist. That is wild. Looks like something from a horror movie. The sea spray. The rain's finally passed us by here. Temperature's definitely dropping. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> oh, another nice worm shell down here, maybe? No, piece of one. Doesn't have the tip on it, darn it. Piece of a worm shell, but... Ah, another broken crown conch here, darn it. These are one of my favorites. They are beautiful shells, the crown conchs. It's a nice little baby fighting conch, a little medium-sized fighting conch shell there. That's a nice one. Some nice little colors there. Conks everywhere though this morning. Found a nice little murex this morning. It's just missing the, just a piece of the tip of it there. Little apple murex. I found a really cool worm shell. I don't know what I did with it. Did I throw it back on the beach? Thought I put it in my pocket. I might have put it back on the beach. Huh, my pocket's got so much stuff in it. Huh. Or did I break it? A lot of times I'll put stuff in my pocket and it breaks, darn it. So there's, there's a nice little worm shell. It's actually a pretty thick one. Nice little worm shell. I picked up earlier this morning. What else? I saw something cool down here. Where'd it go? I see things and I look away and I can't find it again. I thought I saw a tulip shell down here somewhere. It's a nice little olive shell. I swear, I thought I saw a little banded tulip down here. I'm staring around. Here's a, oh, I always forget the name of these little guys. They're so cool looking. They look like little screws. I always forget the name of them. People tell me and I still forget. Darn it. I swear I saw a banded tulip shell down here. Just kind of blending in with everything. Rats. Rats, rats, rats. Big olive shell. Darn it. Where did that? That is probably broken anyway. <laughs> Where did that thing go?
There. Is that a tulip shell? I'm not sure if that's a tulip shell or not. Usually the tulip's a little darker. Beautiful shell though, still a beautiful shell. Definitely a little keeper. All kinds of neat stuff out here this morning. We haven't done any shelling for a while. It's kind of fun to do a little shelling this morning. Get back into the whole swing of things out here. waves have the water churned up just a little too much to see what's down here along the shoreline. I can't believe how many conch shells I've seen this morning. They're just washing up everywhere. Oh, look at all those birds. Can you see them out there? flying just above the horizon there turning around now so cool Hey, if you're new to these beach walks, be sure to introduce yourself to the group, let everybody know where you're watching from. That's, that's the fun of a live feed. Everybody chiming in, making comments. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. Just keep politics out of it. That was a rainy morning. You know what? It is still beautiful out here. I'll take it. I got out here a little later than normal, but that's all right. I still made it out. You're seeing some big chunks of broken sand dollars on the beach. We saw one nice little sand dollar earlier. Here's just a corner of a big sand dollar. Boy. Definitely rougher out there than it's been for a while. Mm. Darn it. There was a whole pile of shells here and the waves, a big wave just came up here and pulled everything back out into the water. Darn it. Gotta be quicker than the waves.
I see our friends from Denver up ahead of me. They walk the beach almost every morning looking for shark's teeth. I think they're going to do pretty well this morning. A lot of new things washing up on the beach here this morning. Another neat little worm shell. There's a little cockle shell just washed up on the beach. A little cockle. A little funky smell up here. It's very possible it could be a little getting a whiff of a little whiff of the red tide, maybe. The wind could be just blowing the smell in from out in the Gulf. It gets in the air. And it's definitely out there right now, out in the Gulf. Let's hope it doesn't blow it up on our shore. Look. Please, please, please. No red tide. It's down here. Oh, what the heck is that? Just an old a rock. Didn't know what that was. That's an interesting looking stone. Well, I think I'm gonna turn around, head back down the beach, see what we missed. On a morning like this, there's things washing on and off the beach constantly but look at now we got some blue sky out there isn't that nice those waves are pretty good size those are some good sized waves breaking out there great morning we've had a good morning shelling definitely found some nice shells this morning we've seen a lot of fighting conks all different sizes here's a nice little fighting conch shell right here there's a little snowy egret 
hoping that these waves will bring a fish in, a fish or two in. We can get a closer look. The little snowy egret. Where you go? You can see its little yellow feet. Beautiful little birds, the little snowy egrets. Almost got something there. <laughs> Not quite. Well, let's, let's not forget about all those poor people out in California with those fires. Oh, my Lord. Is that not awful? You know, we're out here walking the beach, and there's people losing their homes, their lives. Let's keep all those people in our thoughts and prayers, the families, all the first responders. An awful, awful, terrible situation. We've had our share of fires here in Southwest Florida too. We're no strangers. But that one in California is just awful. I want to give you a look down the beach. Just want to get up on a little higher ground here. I'm going to zoom in down to the south. Absolutely amazing the sea spray down there. Very cool looking. Look at that. Isn't that neat? That's Park Shore, the condos on Park Shore Beach in the distance there. Isn't that something? Or actually that's Pelican Bay, I'm sorry, Pelican Bay. Amazing. Nice little sea breeze today. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, hit the share button. Be sure to like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Please let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group here. We had a nice little morning of shelling earlier this morning. Found some great little shells. Still lots of shells out here on the beach, as you can see in front of me, piles of them. 
what all is down there, I don't know. You need to have patience and time to come out here and sift through all these shells out here. There's a piece of a pear whelk, a broken pear whelk. Some of our little shorebirds here. Some gulls, seagulls, the skimmers there, the black skimmers. Some turns. Closer. Almost looks like it's in a coma, going to sleep there. A skimmer bird. Very neat looking birds. Hey, hit the share button here. If you can find the share button, hit it so your friends can follow along with us. Take a beach walk with us. And most of you know, nobody pays me to do this. If anybody wants to make a contribution, it's always appreciated. I always put the link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Every little bit helps. Helps pay the phone bill, that's for darn sure. And it seems like once a year I gotta replace this darn gimbal. I, I abuse it. I take it out in the rain here. We are on the beach in the rain and during all kinds of bad conditions. Hey, here's another, here's a sand dollar sitting up here on the beach. What's a sand dollar doing way up here? Why hasn't somebody picked it up? Nice sand dollar. This is the second one we saw this morning out here. It almost looks like the one I picked up earlier. <laughs> but that was down by the water. Well, that's a nice sand dollar, nice size. You could bleach that out and make a nice little souvenir. Lots of fighting conchs. There's another fighting conch. Nice little scallop shell. Lots of scallops on the beach this morning. Stuff down here at my feet. another sand dollar that washed up. Wow, this got up pretty high on the beach. Another nice little sand dollar. Oh, man. There's another one. It's a 
some nice sized little sand dollars this morning out here. Somebody will pick these up. Everybody likes to have a sand dollar or two. That's the one thing I just can't take with me. I can't put them in my pockets. They're very, very fragile. They'll definitely break when I'm bending over on picking stuff up here in my beach walk. Well, the clouds are starting to break up, finally. Starting to see some blue sky out here. Another sand dollar. This is up in area four. Out in the middle, a little north of the middle of area four. A lot of sand dollars along the beach here. Not a lot, but half a dozen. I've seen half a dozen so far. That's a fair amount to be washed up on the beach. There's some sea foam coming in here. Something that our friend Roy was always fascinated by, that sea foam. Now we're getting some blue out there. Finally. Nice, nice. Beautiful out here. Every morning it's different out here. Every morning. Hear the birds. Ooh, nice, nice sand dollar down here. Another nice sand dollar. They have been, we have seen a lot of these. Right up here in Area 4 this morning. Quite a lot of sand dollars this size. 
That is a really, really interesting looking one right there. That has got a really cool pattern on it. I'm gonna try and keep this one. That has got a very cool pattern. It's chipped up a little on the edges. You know, it's not perfectly round. That is really cool looking. Very, very cool pattern. And the underneath. Isn't that cool? Cool, man. <laughs> cool beans. If you've been paying attention to my Facebook page here, you might notice I've been posting some food shots, giving you some ideas of places to go visit, have a cocktail and a meal, kind of off the Fifth Avenue, Third Street South scene. That's not my cup of tea. I like to hang out at the places where the working people go. And we have quite a few of those in Naples. There's nothing pretentious about me. <laughs> I like a nice, friendly, casual atmosphere with good food and drinks, you know, at a fair price. I like getting what you pay for. I'm not into paying 50 bucks for a giant plate with two mouthfuls of food on it. You can find a lot of places like that in Naples. Gorgeous out here. Now that skies starting to clear up still no sun clouds are still pretty heavy as you'll see here as I pan around to the east here now this is looking to the east clouds are pretty thick still we had some good rain overnight a good early nice early morning storm passed through here we need the rain this is the time of year that it starts drying out in southwest Florida we get into our fire season we go from hurricane season to fire season. So we'll take all the rain we can get. The only bad thing is that when we get heavy rains in the state, it fills up Lake Okeechobee and they dump the water out and send that stupid green, blue-green toxic blue-green algae down into our neck of the woods. Hopefully they'll figure out a solution to that one of these days. Thank God it hasn't made it down here to Naples. Our friends to the north, though. I feel really bad for them up in Fort Myers, Cape Coral. Ugh. Absolutely horrible. And I don't have a lot of faith in our government as far as getting it fixed. I don't care who's in office. Hey, if any of you ever make it down here to Southwest Florida, please come out. Try to catch me out here, introduce yourself. I always find that so fascinating when our Facebook, when one of our Facebook friends or two of our Facebook friends just come up to me on the beach and say, hey, are you Rob? I've been following you all year long on Facebook. I think that is so, so cool. Here's something neat. I got this darn, what's going on here with the gimbal? The gimbal is misbehaving. 
There it goes. I'm trying to hold this sand dollar and the gimbal here, and I want to show you. This is a piece of a crown conch, but look at that. Isn't that neat how you can look right down in the top of this crown conch? Isn't that cool? They call these twisties. When you find broken shells like this, a twisty, for obvious reasons. No, as I was saying there just a minute ago, how it's so fun to meet people that have been following me on Facebook here at the beach. Same thing happens to Roy. He'll be sitting here at the beach and somebody will come up and introduce himself and say they've been seeing him on Facebook and how much they enjoy it. It gives me a big thrill. One day I met three different people here at the beach that have been following me. One was from France. One was from Germany, and one was from Ohio. <laughs> the international aspect is what really blows my mind. We have a lot of friends over in Germany watching. They come over here on vacation. All over the UK. We have friends in Australia, Japan. Oh. all those little sandpipers running around <laughs> I call them the little beach mice they remind me of little mice running around on the beach <laughs> they're just little tiny things fit in the palm of your hand if you could catch one <laughs> But please don't try to do that. <laughs> I just love the way they scurry around. I think it's comical. Little pack of mice. <laughs> Little beach mice. Look at them all over here. Those are the one birds you cannot get close to. Most of the other birds here, as long as you you walk slow, don't make any southern sudden movements, you can get fairly close to take some pictures. Do do respect all the wildlife out here, the birds, whatever else you come across out here, raccoons, gopher tortoises. Don't try to feed them or pick them up. And the birds. You know, when you see the birds along the beach like this, walk around them. Walk around the birds. Please don't let your kids chase them up and down the beach. Sure, it makes a cute picture, but come on, you're really stressing out the birds when they do that. So keep your kids under control when you're out here. Hey, bear with me one minute. I'm gonna snap off a quick photo here. Right. Some nice little waves out there this morning. There's probably four to five footers out there. Yeah, four footers. Just breaking on the edge of the sandbar out there. You see, we'll get some big ones, then there's a lull, then there's some big ones and a lull. There come some big ones out there. I don't think we're going to see any dolphins. <laughs>
Wow. So neat though, watching those waves crashing there. The water temperature is definitely warmer than the air temperature. One minute here. I'm going to record a little bit of this with these waves here. Give me one minute. Okay, I'm back here. bit of a different view than we've seen in the past couple days. Beautiful though, beautiful. So neat, so beautiful. I could record a meditation video here for you. Wow, there's somebody out on the paddleboard out there. Holy smokes. Way down the beach. Up the beach. I don't know if you can see him out there. See the paddle boarder out there? He's riding the waves. Ah, fell off. This is a big surf for the Gulf Coast. A big surf. Very, very cool. big waves over there. That's where the really big ones are.
really invigorating standing out here. But I must move on. Our paddle, paddle border just caught a big wave and came all the way into the beach. <laughs> What a fun morning. Found some nice shells this morning. Found some neat sand dollars. Did manage to keep one sand dollar. Check this one out here. This is really cool. It's got a neat pattern on it. That's a cool looking sand dollar there. At least I think so. the back of it. Very interesting looking. And some other cool shells. Got a pocket full of shells this morning. Hey, remember to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television if you enjoy these beach walks. I don't do them every morning. I try to do them as often as I possibly can. I don't get paid to do it. I do appreciate when someone sends a little contribution here and there. It definitely makes me feel like what I'm doing is appreciated. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, Find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And hang on a minute here. Shifting hands here. I just came across another beautiful sand dollar. We've seen a lot of sand dollars on the beach. I think I just came across another nice one here. Let me take it over to the water and rinse it off. We found quite a few this size this morning. Quite a few sand dollars on the beach this size. We found a little bit of everything out on the beach shell-wise this morning. Whelps, murex shells, moon shells, cockle shells, lots and lots of fighting conch shells on the beach this morning. Lots of sand dollars this size. Especially up in area four. Quite a few of them. This right now I'm in area three. That's where I found this one. Very cool. started a little later this morning. It was raining this morning when I started. So now you can see the blue sky is breaking through. Plus the temperatures dropped a little bit. But now the blue sky is really starting to break through the clouds. Look at that. Beautiful. It's all gray and overcast and breezy and raining this morning. Now look at it. We look out to the west. Definitely starting to clear up.
Well, I think I'm going to call it a morning here. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Do take the time to check out my photos and videos. Please hit the share button, hit the like button when you find something you like. Our little beach community here is growing a little bit every day. We get a few new, a few new followers. Hope that trend continues. Wow, some sun just broke out from behind the clouds. We actually have a few little shadows on the beach. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. Just love the weather here in Southwest Florida. You never know what it's going to be like when you come out to the beach in the morning. Every morning, it's just a little bit different. Sometimes it's drastically different. One more look at that sea spray down there. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking down there? The mist from the waves. Well, we didn't see any of our osprey friends today. We really didn't see a whole lot of wildlife. We did see some birds. We did see some of our terns and skimmers up there in Area 4. These are our friends. I'm pretty sure they said they're from Denver. They scour the beach almost every morning looking for shark's teeth. And they always seem to find some. They never go home empty-handed. Oh, here comes Ranger Bill. Just in time. Oh, he's going to be antisocial. Oh, no, he isn't. What's up? Thought you were going to be antisocial and drive by me. I was thinking about that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Not do that. How you doing? Today? Good. I like this little change here. Yeah, nice little weather. Boy, sand dollars all over, the big sand dollars out there. Everybody out there surfing? One person. I thought it maybe it was Mark. Is he working? Is Mark on duty? Yeah, he is. Well, I thought it might have been him. Somebody up in Area 5 trying to surf. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you had to mute that. There somehow. you go. <laughs> I like to get out there and surf. Yeah, you do that? You get out I out haven't there? done it in years. I'm just doing Rhode Island all the time. Really? Yeah, the Squamish getting there again. So. People laugh. These are big yeah. waves for us over here. Yeah, no, they're fun <laughs> waves, you yeah, know? Yeah, yep. They're uh, ways you can work with and not exactly. get crushed. Exactly. about getting killed. Yeah. Yeah. No dolphins today. Too rough. Yeah, they're out. Uh, they're out. way out. Yeah. yeah. That's clearing up. When I came out, it was raining. Yeah, I know. It was raining this morning, but it's nice. Hopefully, it'll stay a little broken clouds. Keep it cool. Yep. Yeah. It's supposed to drop. Yeah. The temperature's going to drop. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with Roy. He's chomping at the bit to get out here, but yeah. the doctor still says, no way, Jose. No, how's he healing up? He's slow. He's healing, but it's slow. A very slow process. But, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, but for 93 years old, he's yeah. he's a lucky guy. Right? He's really lucky yeah. that he's still here with us. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see him again out here. Oh, yeah, we miss him. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll be able to make it out here by his birthday. Yeah. When is that? De December 20th. December 20th. 94. <laughs> Oh, old fart. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, Did I say that? Not out loud, no. Uh, you were thinking it. 
No, I, I tell you what, the day he comes to this beach, his, on his return, yeah. be prepared for the news Oh, yeah. trucks to be out here yeah, right. oh they're chomping at the bit yeah they're all emailing me when's Roy going back to the beach when Roy's <laughs> going back to the beach I'm like soon yeah. don't worry I'll let well, you let's know let's get a band together out here there you go yeah you and James yeah that can happen <laughs> yeah you and James you that with your harmonica happen. and him with his guitar I'm going up to Connecticut uh, 7th of December and uh, the guys I used to play with up there were getting back together oh, sweet. playing at a couple places while I'm up there so I'm sure you'll sit in, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we started the thing, the whole band. How long are you going to be gone? Exit 72 is the name of the band. Exit 72? Yeah. How long are you going to be gone? Just four or five days. Oh, okay. That's it. All right. Sweet. They have a late parade up there. It's nice. Right. Yeah. Went from 15 floats to over uh, 600 floats now. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Everybody makes all these little funky... And they actually form a parade? That oh, must yeah. take a long time to go by. Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. Everybody's having a ball. Oh, I there. can imagine. It's all how, yeah, it's a small main street in Niantic, Connecticut. And uh, it's really nice, though. It's nice. Some people really do it up with some of their, some of right. their trucks, fire trucks, bucket loaders. They make a air, <laughs> paper mache airplane on the bucket. On the bucket. With lights all over it. And, oh, that's and pretty And they cool. lift the bucket up like this as they're going along, you know, lowering That's it. neat. Yeah, that's so they neat. do some pretty creative things. Hey, what's that? That's the sun. That's the sun breaking through yeah, there. It's always wow. up there, but we don't see it all the time. <laughs> that's the first we really saw it this morning. Yeah. Gorgeous now. Oh, he's paddle boarding out there and riding the waves. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Maybe we'll see. Go check them out. Yeah, it's not raining right now, so I gotta check the beach. Make sure there's nobody fishing up there on the beach. Yeah, all right. There you go. All right. <laughs> nice talking to you guys. All right, see you later, Bill. <laughs> Ranger Bill, great guy. One of the many, many great people here at El Norwegans. Great volunteers, great staff, all friendly. Please abide by their rules. If they tell you to stop doing something, respect what the rangers say. Please respect our beaches. Very, very important that you respect our beaches. Wow. What a difference a little bit of sunshine makes. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, wherever you might be. I know we got friends watching from all around the world. Again, be sure to tell everybody you know, everybody you know about Southwest Florida television. You make sure they get on and like and follow this page. <laughs> if anybody out there wants to make a little donation, I always appreciate it kind of lets me know that what I'm doing is appreciated by everybody out there. It's not expected, but like I said, it's appreciated. And some of us are one of financially are more blessed than others. I totally understand that. But I'm going to leave you with this view looking up the beach here. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.